Hello, love. Welcome to Feeling Fridays here on the Libra and Key. Messages of soul support for the highest and the greatest good of the empath collective and the empath journey here on Mama Gaia. Know that if this video has found you or you have found it, that there is something here for you. That is always the intention that I put into these messages. Always timely, yet timeless. We're going to get into a little bit of specific um, soul support for currently what's going on energetically right now. Archangel Raphael coming in to speak to this. But know as well that if this video has found you, whenever it finds you that there is a message here for you regarding some of the teachings, some of the wisdom that he wants to bring through, okay? He wants to reassure us, first and foremost, that there is a lot of angelic assistance happening at the moment and around us. And specifically, I heard absorbing light. And this obviously is a reiteration to what is going on energetically right now with the absorption of light codes, shedding light on the shadow aspects within each and every one of us in the empath collective. And a lot of this has to do with faulty empathy. Guilt is another thing that he's bringing through as well. And he's really wanting to point to a need for more unity within the empath collective around this, because I heard specifically disgruntled empaths with disgruntled empaths. I also heard disappoint disappointments, or actually he showed me the five of cups here. And immediately I heard disappointments. Um, and having to have more compassion for one another, because these are big lessons that we're dealing with at this time, with regard to the expansion of compassion. Now he wants to, he's bringing in, I always, for me, Archangel Raphael, elementally, I connect him with fire. Um, I know that everybody has sort of, there's, there's a lot of differences, um, for people with regard to this, which I think is really fascinating. And I think it's because he is such a universal archangel that we relate to him in the ways that we need to relate to him. He is, however, God who heals, right? That's without a given. So he always wants to come in for some form of healing. To me, healing is alchemy. To me, healing is alchemization. So I associate him quite often with fire. And I think a lot about the um, traditional Rider Wade Smith, Pamela's genius, of the image of the um, lover's card. And that angel is often associated with Archangel Raphael, and there's a fiery quality to him, and the alchemy of union and the passion of that is what he is really bringing through in this message, okay? So this is about a, almost like, and it's interesting because I also feel Archangel Michael wanting to come in for this too, with regard to the transmutation process, but more in terms of bringing clarity to the faulty empathy that we have absorbed. It's interesting because they keep on using that word here, absorbing light, ideas we've absorbed, because they keep on coming back to this imagery of empaths and the empathic journey and this principle of being like a sponge, okay? Where we are simply, just as much as we absorb all the other things that we are sensitive to that can be higher frequency. We also can easily absorb ideas and be very sensitive to things that don't actually serve us. They're not in our highest and greatest good, but they're necessary. And this is where they want me to rephrase that because again, this isn't about Oh, you have to go through negative things, bad things or experiences in order to learn something. I'm not saying that. 
what they want to clarify here is that this is food for alchemy. So part of the empath journey inevitably means that we are going to go through a process, especially if we are here at this time, incarnated here on Mama Gaia during this time period where we are bridging um, a, sh a shift in age, okay, and contributing to that. We are going to have to inevitably deal with false programming around empathy. And that means that we are going to, of our own programming, indoctrination around what it means to be an empath, about how we've been raised, about the interactions we've had with people in our lives, the lessons that we've had to learn that have been presented to us through the people that we've interacted with. I can give a specific example to this, like the classic narcissist empath paradigm that there is in this a, a peeling back and unraveling of the true nature of empathy. Because empathy is not being a doormat. Empathy is not being so sensitive. You are just a victim. You succumb to all the feelings, all the energies. They're showing those as portals through which we are able to actually step into more of our power and our sovereignty, okay? And they want me to stop there. So what will happen sometimes, and I'm just bringing in the Prenite now because I feel like I need to bring this in, Archangel Raphael bringing in the Prenite, dealing with a lot of heart and heart healing here and higher heart, I'm even hearing activation. So... It's really important to understand that within empaths, even amongst each other, we can project ideas of, of faulty empathy on each other and judge one another. And what did he say? I'm going back to the notes here because he's directing me back to the notes. Yeah. This is again about having more compassion for one another. Yes, thank you. The big lesson. So energetically right now, and of course this has to do with the light codes. This has to do with the Aquarian energies, the stellium that we are moving into. And I believe Venus today moves into Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. She's entering Aquarius today. Okay. We have a lot of Aquarian energy that's coming through. That is also bringing, again, going back to that Aquarius energy video that I had posted, I think, at the beginning of the Aquarius season or moving into Aquarius. I'll link it right here. Make a note of it. There is something in this energy of Aquarius that is detached. And I just want to touch on this for a moment here with this Prenite. This Prenite just wants to stay here. So I'm going to get... Tapping into the frequency, tapping into the energy here of the Prenite if it's not available to you, okay? So there is a lot of healing here available to us if we engage with it of our own free will with regard to really understanding the importance of the third perspective and coming from a uh, detached perspective that does not mean you're a robot, okay? Far from it. It means you're seeing things from a much broader, more multidimensional perspective. And seeing yourself in that with regard to an interaction perhaps that you're having with another person who is also an empath, who perhaps is, again, on their own healing journey, trying to figure everything out because we're all trying to figure it out in some, to some capacity, to some degree, right? And instead of passing judgment, having compassion. Also understanding that every single one of us, again, is on our own unique journey when it comes to the empath lessons. Archangel Michael coming in for this. He, want, he really wants to reiterate discernment around that because... Divided, we fall. United, and I'm going to take this phrase from Jason Shurka because I think it's great, we fly, you know. 
Um, and I would even go beyond that. Archangel Raphael saying, united we heal. United we blast these frequencies even more strongly into the collective, into our, into the, into the empath collective and into the human collective at large, okay? So I'm going to be asking through the light seers tarot around this and through the angels and ancestors oracle deck. I'm going to start with that. The light seers tarot, for some reason, is really, I don't know, I feel like collectively <laughs> right now, um, it's really, it's really making, um, making an appearance for sure. Fire guardian. Ignite your passions. This is Archangel Raphael and his alchemy coming through for this reading. Um, there is something here about also, oh look, and Sage is on the other side. Be devoted and committed. What Archangel Raphael is saying to be devoted and committed to the energy of non-judgment and compassion and deeper understanding along with discernment, okay, is what Archangel Michael is saying as well. Shapeshifter. Okay, understand too, this is interesting. It says transform and unveil your gifts. There's a specific nod here. Archangel Raphael wants to bring through this as when we pass judgment on someone because they seem inconsistent. And I'm saying that in quotation marks. Like I like to say a lot of things in quotation marks. <laughs> Turning them on their head because um, there's a... We are constantly in a process of change or oscillation. And this can happen when we are going through our own healing processes. So it may appear on the surface, like one minute someone seems to be on one trajectory or one path doing one thing and they're telling you one thing. And then the next minute, something's shifted and something has changed. Understand too, that this is the nature of our time right now. Commander Ashtar also wanting to come in to speak to this because he did talk about timelines last time in the Soul Support Sunday message. He really wants to reiterate this. You're going to know, you will know, this is Archangel Michael and Commander Ashtar saying this specifically now. You will know, use your discernment again. When you feel someone is actually being legitimately hypocritical about something versus something has shifted on their journey. Because the same thing might happen to you. Perhaps the same thing has already happened to you. But in that moment, because let's face it, these energies have us really fritzy and we can get really emotional um, in moments things can overwhelm us because there's a lot that's being purged. So things can come up and oftentimes it's the things that we're getting upset about with another person that perhaps we are sensitive to ourselves, that perhaps we are critical of ourselves. This energy is asking us and it's an opportunity for us to dive even more deeply into self-compassion and compassion for others, okay? All right, traveler, move in a new direction. I'm hearing with this card fluidity, being fluid, embracing the energies of the divine feminine that are changeable, that are cyclical. Druid, hold this space. That's beautiful. Holding space for yourself, holding space for others. And star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Commander Ashtar wants to speak to this. He wants to speak to the fact, this is a side note, that there are a lot, okay, there are a lot of, um, again, awakenings and activ activations happening, right? We know this. And that in the process of awakening, in the process of activation, it can be, of course we know, very disorienting and discombobulating where we become like a different person and someone else might see that and judge that. So we also have to understand, too, coming from our own awakenings and our own activations, having been through those things, that bringing that compassion and awareness and understanding to the other person instead of judgment 
perhaps they're actually going through, he's, he's saying to me, an awakening or an activation and they're not even realizing it. This can happen, right? Where it's not, it's not cluing in until like, I'm hearing days after the fact, because usually it won't take as long, but sometimes it could be a month. It could be like, and then you, and he's, he's actually connecting this to making sure you're doing the healing work. You're looking at your own trauma healing, your own individuation, individuation integration work, where all of a sudden you see things more clearly and then you piece the puzzles together, right? You go back and you follow the golden breadcrumbs to that point where you realize something happened there. It was an activation. It was an awakening that took place. High priest, yeah, intend and create at the bottom of the deck. Metatron's cube really sticking out for me in this. I'm actually seeing a lot of like Merkaba activations happening around the auric fields. This could also be energy of protection again available to us. This is connected with Archangel Metatron. Perhaps that's something connected to his energies wanting to come through as well in this card, okay? And this goes right back to I'm hearing activations, activations. That's another example. That's another kind of confirmation of the activations that might be taking place as well with that High Priest card coming through. And Star Ancestors too, okay? But I'm also seeing guardianship. I'm seeing um, a lot of guardian energy. I'm seeing maybe new guides coming in as well. This could be another thing, okay? Having compassion for each other with regard to just all of these changes that are being brought up, okay? Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. Sometimes, Archangel Raphael wanting me to address this as well. Sometimes we can feel like when someone changes their mind about something or they go in a different direction, and perhaps this is a specific, a very, very specific thing coming through right now around a friend perhaps you've had where you were on the same spiritual path together and they've decided to take a 180 and that's left you feeling betrayed. Yeah, there, there is an energy here in this card of deep reflection on that. I love that it's coming out in reverse because it's showing moving out of these energies. So Spirit and Archangel Raphael wanting to acknowledge that and that it's okay if you felt betrayed. There's no need to berate yourself because that's another thing we do as empaths is we feel what we feel and then we feel bad for feeling the negative emotion. It's just an emotion. It's feedback, okay? The question is, are you aware of it? That is the key. Are you aware of it? Are you observing this? Are you not acting from a place of that, right? Where are you on that journey? And I'm even hearing what standard, and I don't mean that to trigger anybody because sometimes people can hear the word standard and think, God, my goodness, you know? What he's... What he's saying here is, what are you holding yourself to? Are you holding yourself up to love and understanding? Okay. To having those healthy boundaries, to being discerning. You know, and discernment of your own judgment of self. This is huge. This is huge, right? And why is that happening if it's coming up? The, where's the root of that, right? Again, you may have to go more deeply into this. You may have to go more deeply into certain kind of somatic healing, certain kind of shadow work or trauma work, all right? Getting the necessary assistance, support you need for that, okay? Um, seeking perhaps the good, healthy medical advice that you need for support in that, okay? Take what resonates, leave what does not. 
again, I'm not a medical professional, okay? You are responsible for your life. At the end of the day, we have to take radical responsibility for all of the things, okay? Um, and of course, at the same time, know that we have support. Know that we have support around us. Know that there are people here to support us spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, integration-wise, you name it. Like, I could go on and on and on, right? Okay, I just want me to keep on. Yeah. Two of swords in reverse as I cut the deck. So both of these swords energies coming out here, this two of swords, again, coming out in reverse. Also a good thing in the sense of he's showing me not being blind anymore to the truth. Archangel Michael also really wanting to come in for that as well. So yeah, let's... The big lessons, Archangel Raphael is saying, the big lessons right now in terms of this empath journey, especially with your fellow empaths, and more deeply understanding, perhaps, because he's saying our journey is our journey. So we're each, like, the other person's journey is your journey. Wow, and like three cards <laughs> flipped right out as I said that. Okay, okay. So... Ace of Wands coming out in reverse here. I'm actually getting with, with this Ace of Wands coming out in reverse, a very divine feminine energy of, he's talking about radical acceptance again. We're going to get to that in a moment. Hold on. King of Pentacles right at the center of the reed with the Page of Cups in reverse at the end of the reed and the Two of Pentacles again in reverse at the bottom of the deck, okay? So this energy of oscillation, he wants to talk about that because the Two of Pentacles is always seen as this energy of oscillation, of going back and forth, back and forth. And we need in a way to do some kind of healing around that, healing around the judgment of oscillation. Because one of the things particular to a very kind of hyper-masculine culture is this energy of you need to know exactly what it is you want. You need to be a person of your word no matter what. Um, you can't change your mind. You say one thing, you have to abide by it. Well, that's distorted. It's distorted because things can change. Things can change. And that has created a complex in some people, and specifically in empaths, right? Where it's like you think... I'm going to have to be a person of my word. If I say I'm going to do something, I need to follow through on it. Even though with the energies right now, especially amping things up in a way where things can shift on a dime. And you're having to change something from a place of your heart. From a place of your soul, from a place that's coming from a deeper place. We have to understand that that is okay. There is nothing wrong with that. And this is where this, interestingly enough, this is how this card is coming through. This Ace of Wands in reverse is coming through as a massive divine energy, divine feminine energy, divine feminine energy of radical acceptance around this in ourselves. Understanding it's okay. It's fine. Who said in the first place that this, this was the way things were supposed to be? Let's start by questioning that. Let's start by coming from a point of view of this very distorted masculine energy and why. Because this is not, we're making it perfectly clear here that this is not about I just change my mind because I want to from a very flippant place. Or from a wounded place is also what Archangel Raphael is showing me, like a non-committal place. That's another thing that he's sort of showing that needs to be addressed here for some reason. He's connecting this back to perhaps, again, a situation where you are dealing with someone. This is interesting. So perhaps this is a situation where you have or are dealing with someone who has this where you feel like betrayed because you thought you had a commitment from this person. Take it however it resonates here because Archangel Raphael is, is being very broad about this. 
this is a situation where perhaps you felt you had a commitment from someone else that both of you were committed to something together and something has shifted now. And this person is coming from a place of being non-committal. Now they're getting scared. There is something here. This isn't, this isn't the same earlier about just changing your mind deeply because it's coming from a deep place of contemplation or your heart, a, a, a legit change of heart. Okay. This is coming from a place of feeling the, the damage, the upset around a situation where someone just kind of flipped off. And Archangel Raphael really wanting to bring in love, healing and compassion for you in this particular situation as well. Again, it's like there's so many, and then there's so many edges to this, and like it's a double-edged sword. There's two sides. I'm hearing like two sides of the same coin, like all of these things coming in. There's a lot coming in with regard to that in terms of where you're at on your journey with this. It's like he wants to say, okay, so here, this is. If this isn't a, if this is simply just a person who is not aligned to you anymore, then this was basically their exit, you know, if they're no longer aligned to you anymore. And then it's about also, if this wasn't something that was malignantly done to you, or it was done in a way that was just who they are in terms of the journey that they're on, getting to that place of understanding from their perspective and knowing that it shows a lot about who they are and where they're at energetically in connection to you. Okay, that was a big side note that wanted to come through. Again, that feels like it's a very specific message for someone. We do have this King of Pentacles right at the middle of the read. So again, this is in contrast to these energies, okay? These radical divine feminine energies wanting to come in around understanding that it's okay to change. It's all right to change. It's okay to come from a place of making a decision that is in alignment with your highest and greatest good, that's in alignment with your heart, okay? And with this page of cups in reverse, Spirit just really wanting to reiterate here again, feeling really wobbly around this, feeling really wobbly around that kind of energy and knowing that it's okay. Seeking guidance from your higher self, that's really also coming through with this card here. Connecting with your higher self, meditating with your higher self with regard to guidance around this guidance around this empath journey, guidance with regard to non-judgment, guidance with regard to discernment around that, okay? Yeah. I just want to point out this part. That is the connection <laughs> to our higher self right there coming from this heart space because some of us are feeling I think disjointed right now for it to be coming out in reverse feeling very disjointed around again this idea of being a person of their word keeping your word and this is the thing there's a spectrum okay we have to understand that even that can be used against us so many things currently and i'm just going to end on this note energetically so many things are being inverted and this is why discernment is so important archangel michael coming in again to speak to this he's pointing to the third eye with his sword and he's showing me the hilt right here at the heart so he's bringing in clarity these these two points being in unification okay these two points being in unification 
Okay. Balance is what he's showing me as well. Showing me the energy of balance. I'm seeing the scales. This is why he holds scales and a sword, right? Many reasons why. Crucial reasons why. Um, balancing the mind, balancing the heart. We need to do this as empaths. It's really important to know when we're out of whack up here in our heads and when we're out of whack here in our hearts, okay? I'm gonna end it there. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Archangel Raphael, for coming through for this. And thank you, Commander Ashtar. Thank you, Archangel Metatron, for coming through for this card. I'm just gonna hold this out here again, wanting to confirm the activations, this unification as well coming through. Archangel Metatron is all about teaching us about those things, okay? When it comes to that third perspective, right? Um, understanding more deeply what duality is, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy here with me in this space. I'm going... <laughs> Commander Ashtar... Uh, coming through to reiterate this whole thing about timelines. We're going to be talking about that again on Sunday, Soul Sunday. Sun, the Soul Support Sunday message will be about timelines, a little bit more of an expansion on that as well, okay? Him coming in to want to speak again to the idea of duality too. So we're going to get to that on Sunday. Thank you again for being here with me for sharing your time, your space, and this energy with me, and I'm sending you so much love wherever you are. In love and liberation always. <laughs>